hi guys i am back with another tutorial for you all today i'll be showing you the step by step process of how to make a realistic fondant face here i'm measuring 25 grams of skin colored fondant i roll the fondant between my palms to get rid of any creases and form a shiny smooth ball i roll it into an egg shape now using a little finger press the fondant ball to mark the eye sockets using the flat side of your dressed-in tool make deeper indentations for the eyes now using the same tool push the fondant closer to form the nose in between the eyes carve the nostrils with the end of the tool make a small mark just below the nose which we will later form the lips I'm using a scalpel or exacto knife to cut a horizontal line where we mark the lips and with a trusty dressed-in tool you have to shape the bottom lips as I've tried to show. Using the tool try to open the mouth and form the upper lip. Also smooth the rest of the face not to leave any strong crease lines. Slowly with the pointy end of the dressed-in tool shape the lips into a smile I've now taken a small ball tool to make the nostrils you have to shape the jawline of the fondant face and form the chin now moving on to the eyes take your scalpel and cut an almond shaped dent for us to place the eyes. For the eyes, you have to use a very tiny bit of white fondant. I am using the small ball tool to make holes for the white fondant to sit in as eyes. Take your edible glue or water and apply it in the eye sockets. This will help the white fondant to stick I have now taken a tinier piece of skin colored fondant for the eyelids and rolled it out into a long piece to go just above the eyes. I am doing the same for the other eye as well. There you go. Now, moving on to the eyebrows. Again, taking small pieces of black fondant tapered at one end. We need to apply some edible glue on the area where we want our eyebrows to go. I then use the pointy end of the Dresden tool to adjust the eyebrows and make it in alignment. There you go. Isn't that easy? I am now taking two tiny blobs of skin colored fondant. For the years, I am rolling it out into a small ball and then I will be squishing it at one end and the other should be a th slightly thicker. I will be doing it for both the ears. There you go. I'll be now applying the edible glue or you can even use water for the ears to stick. It should go right beneath the eye on the sides. I'm now taking the thicker end and sticking it on the face of the fondant. 
yeah there you go since these are her very tiny details it is really hard for us to nail it now i'm going to use the pointy end again and forming a small indentation on the two balls which are which are the ears as you can see there you go i'm now using black color petal dust and evaporix to make a mixture this i'll be using to paint the beard as well as the pupil of the eyes i'm doing it with utter patience just so that you can get nice neat rounds I'm now using the same mixture of petal dust and evaporex to draw very thin eyelashes on the eyes. And then go ahead with drawing the mustache and the beard. My client had given me the picture of the birthday boy. whom i am now trying to replicate on fondant so i observe the photo and i try to draw the beard in such way make sure the edible paint and a uh, evaporix mixture is not too thick or it will start getting all lumpy so here is it yeah oh that's so cute <laughs> okay now we have to let this dry preferably overnight but before drying what i like to do is take a skewer and i try to poke a small hole where we need the neck to go and now we all we have to do is wait till it gets a bit dry and then we move on to the hair we cannot uh, apply the hair to the face when the face uh, when the forehead face is very soft so we have to wait for a couple of days now i've taken a big blob of black fondant with a pinch of tylos in it for it to dry quicker and not be so soft so now i'm trying to measure it i measured the head of the fondant and now i've taken a ball tool and trying to dent the black fondant which is the hair into a sort of a bowl this would help the face to go and sit in without any problem there you go and once i'm satisfied i try to pull in the uh, black fondant into the front of the face as such i'm smoothing it out so that it does not leave any fingerprints or nail prints as such yeah that when that's done i take my the pointy end of the dresden tool and i start drawing lines as you can see what this will do is it would create a hair like texture to the fondant figurine you have to do it all over just to create a realistic feel to it
be careful not to squish the head really tight or you lose the features I'm now adding an extra piece of black color fondant at the front of the hair. This would give a more a lift and volume for the hair. There you go. See how you can immediately see there's a noticeable difference. Yeah. We shape the small piece of fondant, taper at one end and thick at the other and press it against the head. Again using the Dresden tool, the pointy end, I am again starting to draw small tiny lines to create the hair texture. Guys, I hope now you have understood why it is very important to let the fondant phase dry before adding in the hair. Once you start adding the in the hair, we need to do a lot of manipulations and with the soft fondant phase, you will not be able to achieve that. So with this hair, it is the end of this tutorial and as you remember the small hole that we have poked underneath the face will help it to go on to the topper. There you go. So this is the final result and this is the picture of the completed cake that I had made for the boy's birthday. The design was sent in by the client itself. So guys, if you've liked and enjoyed watching this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. This will send you a notification every time I upload something new. Also, please follow my Facebook and Instagram handle at Artisan Cake Bites for some awesome content and behind the scenes. Thank you guys and see you on the next Thursday for something more exciting.